Could I speak to Pookie Adams, please? school paper saying something effective. Miss Pookie Adams is no, terrifically sorry. I haven't acted like a weirdo at the feist. Pookie, don't do that. Oh, Joe, I wasn't going to do that. Don't you know me by now? <laughs> don't you know what I'm kidding? But I am sorry. Yeah, I know you are, Pookie. No, I'm not mad at you. I promise. Double promise? Double promise. Oh, Joe, I love you. I love you. I love you, Pookie. Boy, you sound funny. <laughs> like you want to say something. You are mad at me, aren't you? No, Pookie, I'm not mad at you. It's just... Uh, I have to talk to you about Easter vacation. We're going, aren't we? I mean, you promised to take me, remember? Yeah, I know I did, Pookie. I'm not going to embarrass you in front of your parents or anything. Scout's no. honor, I won't. Pookie, I'm not going home for Easter vacation. I, uh, I got some notices of flunk warnings, and, well, I've decided to stay here at the dorm over Easter and work. I mean, they close up the house, and I have it all to myself. Well, you are mad at me, aren't you? Pookie, I'm not mad at you. I got... Listen, philosophy. you won't believe what I've been doing this week. But I'm, you know, I've really been making a terrific effort to be friends with some of the weirdos around here. I'm, I mean, Pookie, I even apologized to Helen, Helen Upshaw. Listen to me. And I told Lillian Learn that I didn't know that she wore dentures, that it was just an accident and a coincidence. I don't even remember Listen, saying it about Bill and Helen. I mean, just give me another chance, okay? It has nothing to do with another chance. It has to do with my academic standing. It has to do with whether I flunk out of school or not. It has to do with me. Not us, but me, and I'm, I'm not going home for Easter vacation, and it's not because I'm mad at you. Do you understand that? Pookie, are you listening? I've got a fantastic idea. I'm gonna, I'll come up there and be with you. What? During the vacation. I'll just whirl right on up to the dorm. It'll be great. Like you said, nobody will be there, and we'll have the whole place to ourselves, and I can cook for you, and, and I'll make the bed and everything. I'll keep the Avon lady off your back. No, Pookie. But I think that it'll be really good for us, you know. I, nobody will be there, and it'll be like living together, like if, like we're man and wife. Pookie, don't you understand? My head is on the block. But you can still study. I mean, I can amuse myself. God, I'm the ultimate self-amuser, remember me? Pookie, it's just not a good idea. Jerry, what do you mean it's not a good idea? I think it's a fantastic idea. Too much work to do. You'd better plan on visiting your dad. I have no intention of visiting my... I don't call him my dad. I call him my father. And as for your head being on the block, well, maybe everybody's head's on the block. Did you ever think about that? I mean, maybe everybody's in a little bit of trouble. Did you ever think about that, Jerry? Will you get out of here, you goony virgin? I mean, look, Jer, a whole campus to ourselves. I mean, don't we owe it? I mean, all the time that we've spent together, don't you think that we owe it? Jer, I don't want to go home. He won't be there. He won't be there. He wasn't there at Christmas. I didn't even have a sandwich with him. I just don't want to go back and hang around there, you know? Jerry. 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 